What's up everybody, it's John at Shore Cycles and today we got another mini moto here for you. This is the Honda Monkey 125. And this is actually a 2019 model. We're filming this here in 2022, the model's still around. So we're gonna give you a overview of this bike. Gonna go over the history a little bit, give you the specs, some pros and cons, and just an overall takeaway from what we think about this thing. So if you've been around a little while, you may remember the Honda Z series back in the 60s and carried on through the 70s and beyond. This is essentially a remake of that style bike. It's a mini bike, pocket bike, whatever you wanna call it. But here it is in modern times with the upgrades that make it more reliable, safer, and still a lot of fun. So the Z series actually started around 1967. They imported it into Europe first in 67. It got to the States in 68. And the Z50 was the first one. It was a 49cc with little five inch wheels. So we've since moved on from those, thank goodness. But it had little five inch wheels and it was a straight up mini bike. They actually started a model called the Z100, used it in amusement parks. And it was pretty popular. And the executives at Honda said, hey, I think we can sell this thing to other markets. So. Did well in Europe with their small streets and compact cities, and then they brought it to the States and people would throw it in the back of the pickup truck and take it somewhere. And it was just a great, fun, cheap farm bike and a bike that you could have fun with without having a lot of property. And then, you know, kids would ride them to school and all that sort of thing. So it actually was made according to the internet until 2017. We didn't have it in the States that long, kind of similar to the Honda Cub which is the most produced motorcycle ever, I believe. We lost that quite a while ago and then they brought that back as well. So here is the monkey back again. This one is a 124.9 CC air-cooled single cylinder four stroke. It's a two valve head. And again, very similar engine style to what you've seen from Honda for decades. It's that horizontal motor. But what's nice about this thing is it is fuel injected. So reliability, throttle response, all that, all that stuff has improved drastically over a carburetor. And it has a 10 to one compression ratio. So pretty decent power out of a little motor should be expected from this thing. It is five speed, which I also think is a pretty cool benefit. They could have easily done a four speed in this bike, but that five speed is gonna give you a much better top speed and much lower RPM at the higher gear. You, you do have a chain drive. So that's gonna be pretty lightweight. No surprises there with the chain on this thing. So there you can see it, pretty small sprocket there. I'm sure you can play around with gearing. Looks like maybe a 428 size chain, pretty small. It's gonna be very lightweight, uh, but chain drive. So you're gonna to need to maintain that every five to 600 miles, clean lube adjust. I do like the dual shocks. So it has you know a shock on each side, very cool. I like it, that it's yellow. This one matches the paint. Like I said, this is a 2019 model. This thing is available in 2022. They're doing two colors right now. They're doing a banana yellow. I think it's the same exact color as this. And then they're also doing the pearl black, kind of an all black setup. Front forks, you're looking at 31 millimeter forks, 3.9 inches of travel. And they're actually inverted forks, which is pretty cool. They got that gold look up top. And the forks feel really plush. Um, they feel solid. I mean, 3.9 inches of travel isn't a ton, but they do feel nice and soft. I think you're, you're gonna handle regular city potholes and stuff pretty well on this bike for a mini bike. Uh, in the rear, um, let's talk about the brakes. So you have a disc brake in the rear, which I think again is impressive. Could have easily been a drum brake setup. We have a nice big Nissan in the rear. Looks like, I'm now I'm looking at it, it looks like something I've seen on another Honda. It's pretty large for a bike this small. I mean, look at the size of that piston, pretty crazy. And then up front, you have a two piston hydraulic as well uh, and you're looking at a 220 millimeter disc up front and a 190 in the rear so plenty of brakes for a bike this small and in 2022 they are claiming abs uh, i didn't check 2019 if they still have it so let me know in the comments if 2019 came with abs from the factory by default uh, but 22 says abs so i would assume this one does too but let me know down below uh, as far as tires we're looking at a 120 80 12 in the front 
big old knobby tire. You got a 130 80 12 in the rear. So a nice fatty knobby tire. They come with uh, this broken up block style tire. It's a V rubber popular scooter tire. Um, I think the Shinko Mobber is going to be an option for this thing too if you want a little bit more knob. Um, probably look at the Michelin Pilot series if you want more of a street tire for the cities and rain commuting and stuff. But I like this tire kind of down the middle. You could pit bike this thing right on the gravel like we're filming on today or just ride regular street riding. I think the exhaust is pretty interesting. Definitely a vintage touch with that big old chrome heat shield. I like how it sweeps up nice and high. Just like the old CL 350s and stuff. Um, so you have good clearance through puddles and, and stuff like that. Um, no worries about getting the exhaust flooded or anything. And then the tank just looks so cool. The two-tone paint, the old school Honda badge. It's not even just the wings. They even went with the little HM just like the 60s bikes. Super cool there. The seat is crazy comfortable. Again, talking about mini bikes if you watch our Honda Navi video. Somehow Honda makes these bikes feel bigger when you sit on them. So they just nail the ergonomics. And you have a really big seat with handlebars that sweep up and accommodate a taller rider without much issue for a mini bike. Looking at the switches, literally identical switches to many of their other bikes. You'll see these on the Honda 500 series, the 500R, 500X, same exact switches. Really cool to see there. Bike is made in Thailand. That may explain that because the 500R and X and such come out of Thailand as well. So it is an MLH bin. So made in Thailand. No complaints about that. Honda works with incredible factories. I, I really don't care where a Honda bike is coming from these days. I mean, they, they do such a great job with their quality control. So I think you can expect nothing less from the monkey here. Seat height is claimed at 30.5 inches. It, it feels lower than that. It's pretty crazy. This seat's wider than the Navi in style, but look how much it slims out. So even if you're shorter, you should be able to touch the ground pretty well. Similar seating position to the Navi and stay tuned. We're gonna do a more side-by-side -side comparison video between this and the Navi if you wanna really dive between features and specs and all that. Keep in mind that this is gonna cost, you know, around a thousand bucks more than the Navi. Depends on your market and freight conditions and stuff like that. But, you know, here you're getting fuel injection, a bigger motor, some other things. So definitely a good uh, comparison to, to be coming up here with us. Wheelbase. I'm sure you're going to throw this in a pickup truck if you buy one. You're looking at 45 inches. So pretty darn short. If you do a fender eliminator, you could save a, an inch or two on the rear. Cool chrome fender up front. Really retro right there. And then you're looking at a 1.5 gallon fuel tank. So a little bit bigger compared to some of the other mini bikes. And then you have a claimed weight of 231 pounds wet. So overall, I think this thing is pretty sweet. And you gotta think about what this is for. It's not for highway rides, but if you have a road that's 50 posted speed limit, 50 miles per hour, this, this should be able to handle it comfortably for most riders. You know, if you're really at elevation or hills and stuff, maybe not the bike on those roads, but those roads that are 40, 45, 50, if you're looking to commute five, 10, 15 miles one way, on roads like that, you, you can do it on this. Could you be more comfortable on something bigger? Absolutely. But maybe you just want something really small. Maybe you live in an apartment complex, want to park the bike in front of your car, or you don't have a lot of space in the garage. You got other stuff in there. Here's 125 cc's of fun that you could have a blast with and doesn't break the bank. Overall, really cool bike. One more thing too I want to show. These little four guards. That's really cool. Definitely not necessary at all. Just a cool little touch. Protect you from road elements and those little front forks up there. So yeah, if you got any questions, please let me know in the comments. If you know anything about this thing that we didn't cover, drop it down below. And please like the video and share it if you're looking at the Honda Monkey. We think it's a pretty awesome little bike and we're loving the mini moto scene growing here in the US. But we really do appreciate you watching. We'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.